piece to go over. You just do it this way, obviously you want to roll up to the pipe and cut down. We can do it this way. This is just going to be your field. And your field should turn up on that pipe at least a half an inch. Right? To kind of make it water tight. Seal for tonight. stretches. I'm going to do the half-assed version and you're going to do the real version. How's that sound? Yeah. I'm going to prime. Right. <laughs> we won't prime the pipe in here. Alright? You're not leave it till it comes off, so and it won't come off. So <laughs> don't prime the pipe. When you're out in the when you're out on the roof, you would prime that pipe, right? <coughs> okay, this is a, this is Firestone. It's a two-piece rack for a base, right? If you had the field sheet like it is now, you can't just go ahead and put a wrap on it. You gotta do a base sheet. This will be a base piece that we're going to do first, and then we'll do the rack. Okay, how do you cut the piece? All right, you have to be at least three inches past each side. I go, I go for it. All right, so we're going to add a, like a 13 inch piece. So this is 9 inch, so we're going to end up having to put two pieces on it, we can't just put the one. So we're going to cut two 13 inch pieces. Make a mark on each side of the pipe, you know how wide it is, and then right at the bottom, you're gonna end up with something like that. You're gonna make a U shape out of here. You want to stay an inch because it should turn up on the pipe about an inch. So you'll just make a little U shape, okay? And you're gonna end up cutting that out. Just follow your mark. Hey, don't do anything until we're done. <laughs> Mr. Know all over there. I know. <laughs> I got two covers. <laughs> all right, you're going to use this piece and you'll just trace. <coughs> okay, what you had marked on there. Use it as a little template. Depending on where the drain is, right, watch your water edges. So if the drain's on this side right behind me, we'll put this one piece on first. Again, you want it to turn up an inch. Okay, so we're going to fold it back. Okay, and then you'll just set it right down. Now you want to make sure this is straight. If you don't stretch it a little bit, it's going to come on a little angle like that. And we don't want it on an angle. So you want it kind of straight. So just kind of pull on it a little bit, let it come in straight, and then you could work it in with your hand there. OK? 
Try to keep all the air bubbles out. Same with this one. You don't stretch this a little bit this way, it's just going to come in at an angle. Alright, so kind of stretch it, let it work itself around. Alright, then we're going to throw a little primer on it. Do a little quick version for you, so no, I won't put as much on there. You gotta prime your lap. We'll get that a little second to dry. You can cut your uh, your wrap for your pipe, which you steal the tape measure back. <laughs> We're gonna add about three, four inches. So this is 15. We'll make it 19. All right, it's been pre-cut for us already, so that's the one we'll use. Again, round your corner just on the one side. Okay, touch it to make sure it's dry. It's going to come off on your finger. It'll tell you if it's dry or not. Then we'll throw our other base piece on. That's your two piece. You can do that the same way. You want it to turn up a little bit. You want to try to keep it, keep it somewhat even. Okay, you can just kind of stretch it a little bit so it comes pretty even, and then just kind of work it right around that pipe. And stretch it a little bit, get it going even, and then just work it around that pipe. Okay, you take your roller, make sure you roll it, crease it at all the creases. Alright, that's your two piece. Now from there we're going to do our wrap. Again, you would prime the pipe, but here we're not going to do that. We don't want it to stick. We want to get about two inches on that flat for Firestone. You get an inch and a half, they're not going to say anything about it. Okay, just give that a second to dry. <coughs> Pull all the paper off. Okay. You can do it this way, we can show you this too. If you want, you could just score this and make this two inches. Right, then this paper will stay on for you. All right, this way it's set for the bottom already. Now there's a few different ways that you could do it. You could start with one end and then wrap it around. But you got to make sure you're even. And so I do a little easier. Get your hand so it's, so it's holding the piece up instead of trying to do this. Now, so you're setting it and sticking down to the roof. So keep it hand straight. Set it right even. Okay, and then wrap it around. Just making sure that you're pretty straight all the way around. Alright, then we'll pull our paper. Make sure this is down all the way around. You'll still work this end here about five, six inches. You're going to get that down. Okay, you don't want to go too much further than that. If you start sticking this down, this piece is not going to be able to make the turn and make the ramp. Okay, you could hit this little area if you start seeing little stringers, just 
kind of hit that little area real quick. Your detailing should always have a bucket or something to throw all your papers in so have them go around on the roof. second to dry here. So if you, as long as you guys understand, if you bring this down all the way around, it's going to make it a little harder for you to bring this wrap around. Right? The goal is to try to keep this nice and straight all the way around. So once you get that in, finish the top off. Okay, so we know we're somewhat straight. Then you can work this down and bring this around. Stretch this a little bit. When I say stretch, I mean grab it, stretch it. Just you're moving the whole piece, right? It's made the move a little bit more. Right? You can stretch it just a little bit. Okay, and finish off your seam. When that's all done, then you just work down the rest of it. Everything lines up pretty good. Go ahead and roll it. All right, now you're all done. That's a two-piece wrap. <laughs> I'll just put a pipe glue on it. <laughs> well, if your boss is cheap, it doesn't want to put the buy you the boots. Obviously, your boots are a faster way to do it. All right, but if you don't have it, you should learn how to at least do a two-piece, you know, a, a pipe wrap for uncured material.